welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm so, so excited for this video. I am going to be doing a KonMari closet declutter. Now, first off, I'm going to show you the before because the before was, I'm honestly like really embarrassed to even show you guys. And my closet was a mess, let me tell you. It looked absolutely awful. So I guess I'll just go ahead and put that in here now so you guys can see the before. Oh my gosh, it was such a mess. It gives me anxiety looking at the video of the before. So what I did was take everything, every single little thing out of the closet. I vacuumed it out and all that. And I realized that, hey, I have to get rid of some stuff. Like, I've got way too much stuff. And so I had previously been listening to some videos and watching some decluttering videos about the KonMari method. And so I was really interested in that. I really want to read The Magic of Tidying Up, which was written by Marie Kondo who created the KonMari method. She kind of did a little twist on her name and created the KonMari method. So my first thought was to read the book and then declutter, but I was like, no, I can't keep living like this. I want to declutter my closet. I had all those clothes in there, but every single time that I would go to get dressed in the morning, I would not be able to find anything to wear because of all the random stuff I had in there. The clothes that I didn't wear were covering up the clothes that I did wear, and so, it was just not a good situation. And so I went out, first of all, and got some high quality hangers. I got the cloth ones from Ross. I think I got a 25 pack for $9.99. I ended up getting two of those, and I got some decorative baskets to put other things in. And after that was when the decluttering began. Like I said, I took every single little thing out of my closet, everything. All the clothes on hangers, I took off the hangers and threw them on the couch. One of her biggest tips is to hold the item and see if it sparks joy. So that was my plan with going through all of the clothes was to hold each item, see if I would repurchase it again, you know, if I really loved this item, and if so, keep it. If not, if I even doubt it for a second, just put it in the donate pile. I have noticed when I've been out, like I know I needed a new pair of jeans, I have been going out and looking for things and I will see some cute things on clearance but I'm like do I want to bring this home to my closet so it has completely rearranged my mindset. Marie Kondo created these folds so that if you're using like drawers or something like that you can put the clothing items side by side and when you look in you can see what everything is so you're not fumbling through to um, find the right thing like you can clearly see everything and you guys will see this when I do my closet tour at the end. I tried to implement a lot of those kind of practices and recreate all of her folds. I, like I said, do not have any dresser drawers, but I did implement these. I have like a cubicle kind of storage and I used the baskets that I purchased to do this technique. It's kind of hard to explain right now, but I promise you I will explain it when I get to my closet. Now Tyler's side of the closet is still Tyler's side of the closet. He still has a ton of things that he needs to get rid of, but Tyler holds on to things. And so there's not really much I can do about that. That's his personal stuff, but I just try to keep his kind of organized. All right guys, so I think that's all I wanted to tell you about prior to me revealing to you my closet and how it looks now after the KonMari method. All right guys, so my closet is right here. I'm so excited to show you guys. So just one last quick reminder of what it looked like before. All right, and here we go. I know it's not perfect, but it's just like, it's such a huge difference than before, as you guys can tell. Tyler said, you know, it's not the most organized, but as his wife, I have to let him make his own decisions and he doesn't feel like he needs to declutter. So that's that situation. So I'm gonna first start off by showing you what is over here um, in the floor. We just have this laundry hamper. I have this canvas bin of different tennis shoes and things like that. I have both my pair of boots over here. And then up here I have all my extra hangers. I wanted to make an effort to have extra hangers so that there is room for more and I wasn't like packed full of clothes, but I really just want to try to keep everything to a minimum. Yeah, 
And then I just have this little bag that I sometimes let the girls use when they go places. Scarves that honestly are neither mine. They are both my best friends that she has just left here. So I'm just not a scarf kind of girl. But up here I have my MacBook box. Up here this is actually like my swimsuits and just like nightgowns and things like that. That I don't like need too much. This is hard to do one handed. This up here are my tank tops. Ah. And as you can see they're all folded the KonMari method. Um, I think they fit perfect. These are all the tank tops that I have. We're a little bit packed but you know. I have all my Disney ones. All that. And I got all these bins from Ross and also the hangers are from Ross. And this bin also from Ross is my t-shirts and then like seasonal type clothing. So yeah. And I had a lot of t-shirts. You guys can probably tell from the first clip. I had a lot of t-shirts and so I had to get rid of some of those. These are all of my clothes that I have. I have no more in the house. We don't have a dresser or anything in our room. So yeah. Just some of my favorites and I know that all of these I love and I wear on a regular basis. So that's all my hanging clothes and I did try to organize them like tank tops, vests, short sleeves, long sleeves, like flannels and back here jackets and things like that and dresses at the end. Down here, this was actually over here but I decided to turn it sideways and put my mirror up there. So this is what down here looks like. I have all of my jeans down here. I have all of my pajama pants. Like I was telling you guys, I don't have drawers, so I just tried to do the KonMari fold and make them visible for me to see. Over here are my workout pants. Sorry the lighting's not the best in here, guys. Um, these are just like comfy yoga type pants. Nothing down there. Those are my shorts. And then up here, I have all my underwear folded in the KonMari style. I'm actually really proud of myself for this. And then like sports bras and things like that. And the mirror right there, that's Tyler's poster and this little sign that we made for him for Father's Day. And that's his side of the closet. He doesn't have too many clothes, but I feel like he's got a good amount. And like I said, he feels like he doesn't need to purge. So as his wife, I just have to let him do that. He has some tools down there and his shoes are on this. Some stuffed animals down here from like our relationship. He got that for like our second Valentine's Day together and he won that for me at the fair. He also has this little shelf up here are his hats, his blue jeans, like khaki pants, gray pants. And then down there are shorts. And then he's got this thing I got from Target a while back. And the bins are actually from the Dollar Tree. And I guess I'll show you guys what are in the bins. So they're just ties in that one. This one is his swimming trunks, basketball shorts. Those are just like hats and gloves and things like that. That's his underwear. And then up here are his socks. And he's got some random stuff up there. And then our safe and all that. So that is our closet. Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the before and after and kind of my experience with the KonMari method. Like I said, I do plan on reading The Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo and decluttering more areas of my house. That's one of her biggest tips as well is just doing one area at a time. So that is my plan. I may read the book before or I may find it on Audible. Like I said earlier, I'm just so pleased with the outcome. I can't wait to KonMari different places of my house. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the big reveal. If you are new here, I would love to have you hit the red subscribe button down below to join our YouTube family. Thank you all so, so much for watching remember to always embrace the chaos in your life which my chaos is currently coming all in the room thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys